has made it out here this far. Yeah, this far, dude. Burr is sick. Yeah, he's been doing a tremendous amount of work with Inkling. We don't have too many Inkling support to go. Look, we do have a few. We have Mage. Uh, we have Mage. Mage, who is also crossed with DFW as well, which yeah. is hilarious. We love Mage. He's been coming here to Soul Cup for quite some time. Yeah, uh, you don't you don't have to tell me, dude. Mage is the homie. Yeah, he's he's quite the big homie. We had a great uh, key barbecue session with him after Hat. But immediately, yeah, yeah, that's his thing. <laughs> but after we're not we're not post Hat. We're not in Hat. So let's see what Bird can go ahead and do Bacon, against Bacon for life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Inkling Ditto gonna be real interesting just because you know a lot of the times it's what does my character do about the tools that the Inkling has. And right now, I mean, first of all, that up smash is gonna kill at like any percent because of the full ink that was on bacon for life burr played that first stock beautifully yeah sorry i'm gonna be i'm gonna be a little bit of a homer here when my boys are on stream all right i'm not gonna <laughs> lie like i'll i'll try to stay kind of unbiased but this is my boy yeah and i i respect it i mean at this point right you didn't see any of your boys out there at msm so we're having <laughs> yeah. all together why not cheer for them while you can gotta get hype man and you know what burr's giving me a lot of reason to be because he is building up such a big lead and i like that mix up right there didn't go for the rapid jabs because he saw the di from bacon for life decided to try to follow up with the grab but inkling is a quick character will be able to get out of those situations in the scramble Right, Burr having to retreat, get that ink back. Got to be a tough situation when you're burning so much ink, using a lot of the splat rollers, using a lot of oh. anything that uses that ink. Gets the bop hit on that up special. I don't like the fact that he was going to try to call out the up special earlier because he went for a second back air at that point and that far was off the stage. It was really good for him to just read that option. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a rapid jab here. Ink on Burr this time around. Huge ink. Um, My goodness. I don't, one thing that I do like that Burr does that's also a little bit cautionary here is that he likes to go for a roller from the ledge. And sometimes your opponents aren't really ready for it because they're trying to space you out the minute you, they see you come mm -hmm. from there. But right there, Burr, you know, he sees that this is, uh, you know, sort of you can use it like that uh, like that Belmont down tilt, right? You yeah. can just have so much burst movement, get right to center stage, and on top of that, even if you whiff and your opponent isn't ready to punish, you made that ground inked up. It is slower for them to try to approach you. Exactly. And that's what I'm telling you, man. Getting off on that ledge, a lot of your opponents may not be ready for it. And nearly bigger for that. Capitalizing with a dash attack, trying to set himself up at the ledge, but in that time, in that play, Burr had so much time to come back. Mm -hmm. Well, now Bacon for Life is making a pretty good comeback. You know, Burr got a really quick first stock and then just decided to try to keep the heat on. But Bacon for Life, you know, kind of playing correctly, was able to, you know, utilize a change in play style to oh. make this comeback and now take the lead. And I like the fact that he went for the fair, almost had Best the whole cross up, but unfortunately that's what kind of caused him to stop here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Burr using a, a whole lot of that splat roller to net out his stocks. And I mean, why not? Especially if your opponent just isn't ready to react. That's one of the things that Burr does with that roller. He'll start it really close to you, stay inside of, you know, his, his normal threat zone and try to capitalize. And look at that right there. Speaking about capitalizing, he did a really tremendous job about going for the splat bomb. Set oh, that's it. Yep, with all that ink. He set him low, and then if he, he missed the actual ledge, and then he caught him right there on the ledge. And it was really good because of the way how he set it up. Mm -hmm. Really good what set up with the opponent offstage. That's one thing that I liked about him. That I like about him. He's still alive out here, man. Well, and that's, a, and that's a little bit of a transfer just because, you know, Burr, before, uh, you know, he came to Smash Ultimate, he mm -hmm. was a Melee veteran, you know, PR'd in Dallas-Fort Worth uh, for Melee. He's even, like, in oh, the top okay. six. Yeah, like, he is, he is the real deal in multiple games. This guy will uh, rock you this way and that. And the fact the fact that he's coming to Ultimate, and he, when I say, by the way, he's not PR'd in DFW, but he missed PR by a hair. Okay. Everybody was considering him for PR, and he just barely missed it. Yeah, Major was Or should I say barely missed it? Barely missed it? Major was telling, me, uh, telling me your, your text is like such a big region. Is that Fort Worth, Dallas, Austin, and like so many areas that you can get PR'd. Yeah, and then Houston you guys as have well. a, uh, And then you guys have like Houston, and then you guys have like that whole actual Texas PR. Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane just how big of a region it is and how hard it is to climb up to the top. But Burr has, you know, done that again, you know, in, in Melee before, and he's looking to try to do it here again. And that's not Bacon for Life edge guarding. That is actually Burr doing that. He's just got so much dang ink on him. Yeah. That's kind of one of my favorite Ooh. thing about ink, uh, Inkling Dittos is just the amount of ink that you see flying around. Yeah. It's a really, really nice, colorful aesthetic. Definitely, yeah. definitely hitting what the uh, what the Splatoon designers wanted in the first place. Oh, yeah. Okay, Burr using, once again, the Splat Roller just for a lot of movement. Knows he can jump out of it eventually, and right there, catching oh. out his shield. This might do it, and it will. 
I mean, the first time, shame on me, but the first time, the second time, shame on you, and after that, shame on you several times. Because if you're <laughs> not gonna punish me or even respect the fact that I've been going for a little like this, it's kind of your fault. Like I said, man, Ver, Ver uses it more than just, you know, trying to find the stocks. He oh. has so many purposes, and look at that combo extension keeping it going here against Bacon for Life. Look a little bit like Fox going for the up tilt to up air, especially as well. Oh, he was a he has wall low. jump. Yeah, he has yeah. wall jump. Inkling has such a good recovery, and here on Yoshi's Island, doesn't oh. change. Tries to catch him out of a uh, mash to extend a combo. Knows he won't be able to get the kill he just yet. All right, now even game. And Burr, once again, getting that ink up. Cool jab, nice. Takes a little bit of time to stall himself out with the slap bomb and make sure he comes back on the stage. But Ooh. unfortunately, that hard landing there is only going to be met by the controller. Yeah, not getting the berry that he wanted because of that just little bit of pop-up when he lands on stage. And now Burr going for another gimp, or at least setting up for stage control. And I like that he backs off right there just to get that little ink, refill it, get right back to it. Back air, okay. Spot ball, spot roll to go, force the recovery to go low. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to, oh. No, you are going to make it back. That was really good by Bacon for Life to hold on to the jump there. That is why they were able to make it back. back now, air. yeah, well spaced. I'm Burr, 110% bigger for life on that fresh stock, but down one stock against Burr. Okay. Good, good job from Burr. Set out the spot bomb and say, hey, man, I want to make sure I have a safe passage. Hold the shield or walk away from the ledge. Let me have a chance. Here's my spot bomb to help me out. Yeah, great coverage. I know. That I love that Burr really understands the angles that he needs to throw that spot bomb at. He actually does a lot of experimenting with it, which I don't feel like a lot of Inklings are doing uh, you know, right now. But eventually in the future, that's going to be huge for this character's uh, development. Yeah. Okay, Burr getting a little bit of ink there on that platform. Bacon for life, not making it easy to continue to build up these percents. The end to hit of that splat bomb, gonna be a tough setup right there. Dashing back into center stage, Burr needs to refill that ink tank, but he's gonna be punished trying to get aggressive immediately afterwards. So, last stock situation, but Burr coming off of that platform with invincibility means that he's gonna get that first hit. Oh, big. Bacon for Life was looking to get <laughs> the extra, and both of these fellas looking heartily inked up. Burr once again going for a two-frame. Roller on shield and catches the jump out of the shield again. And look at just how much mileage he's getting. He says, no, this is not your territory. This is mine. Yeah, man. It's not even, it's not even a test of West Flat Zones, man. It's just a test of actually eliminations here. Who makes the first elimination? So close to the up, and might have killed, especially at that percent. That high up. Ooh, big jabs here for Bacon for Life. Now that Burr has to come back to the stage, that could have been his chance to build up big damage, but instead, Burr with stage control now gets to play defensively and oh, catch the roller on the shield. I like it. Didn't see that a single time from Bacon for Life when Burr was attacking him on shield with that splat roller, but the one time that happens there at the end of the game, Burr sees his opportunity. Yeah, I like it. I like it. He immediately says, fine, if you're not going to get the punish on me, I'm going to make sure I get the punish on you, mm -hmm. and this is how you do it. And especially taking that game that way was really good for